Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah this morning. Father, we thank you this morning. We glorify your name this morning. We declare your glory. We thank you for being the great I am this morning, all-knowing, all-powerful, mighty deliver this morning. We declare your presence in the name of Jesus. We come boldly before your throne. We lift you up this morning. We declare it in the heavens. In the name of Jesus, blessed be the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. I greet you this morning. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. This is Saturday morning, April the 6th. Holy Ghost, we praise you this morning. Please join in with me this morning as we just, we're going to pray this morning. We want to pray for our nation this morning. We want to pray for America. I just kept hearing unsettled, unsettled, unsettled. I kept hearing that the Lord woke me up twice in the middle of the night. And I kept hearing the word unsettled, unsettled. So we're going to go before the throne room of heaven this morning because we are in a unpresidential time of which we know that, that God's word is being fulfilled. Yes, the word of God is being fulfilled this morning. And we truly, truly looking at the signs and the wonders and things that are taking place in the land all over the world. This It is prayer time. It is truly, truly needed. So I welcome each and every one of you all. Cynthia, Darla, Dream Big. God bless each and every one of you. Please like and share this video. Uh, invite some people on. And we're going to go before the throne room of heaven. I just give God all the praise. I just thank him for being almighty as we enter into this realm this morning. In the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, the oil is pouring. The oil, the anointing is pouring out the anointing, the oil, the oil. He wants us to grab hold to the oil, grab into the oil, get into his presence and the spirit of the Lord is moving. The spirit of the Lord is just speaking right now. He's he's as an awakening that is taking place and uh, people are confused. People are trying to understand what is happening, what is taking place. You know, the Bible said these things going to be. It goes back to like Judas, Judas in the Bible. He was appointed for to uh, betray Jesus. So the timing of where we at today, that what we see and what is taking place with leaders and what is happening right here in our land, in our land today, things are happening. People really don't know what to do because people have stepped out of the will of God. And so God is truly, truly speaking to the body of Christ this morning. So as we just go before his presence this morning, Father, we just glorify you this morning. We thank you for being a mighty, mighty ruler. You are our master this morning. We thank you because you're all knowing, you're powerful this morning. God, I, we honor your presence, my God, this morning. We honor that you are God this morning. You are everlasting this morning. You the king, you the ruler this morning. You mighty this morning. Yes, God, there is a shaking in the Dio Shanda, my God, in the Dio Bosha. You are shaking things. He Kora Bashata. Your presence, my God, in the Obobo Shata. Hey, God, we praise you this morning. We lift you up this morning. We thank you for being almighty this morning. Mighty deliver, mighty, mighty God. You the God of the ancient days. Come on, somebody. He's everlasting this morning. Yes, he is. God is speaking, y'all. God is, I'm telling you. I could not sleep in Kona Maketoba, Makataba, Bashande, Dedio Sata, Ikona Masse, Dedia, Sedia Shanda, Mandedio Sha, there's a shaking. I want you all to enter in. I want you to. Put some things out there. Let's begin to pray for our nation. There's going to be major things just going to, it's just, I told y'all last week, I told y'all in the three-day fast, 
The Lord said there's going to be things just, just going to happen. Things just, people are going to say this never happened before. This has not taken place. This is, this is where we at now because the anger of God has risen up. Ah, my the, the, the power of God, the God of all knowing, the God of Yahweh. He's a mighty deliver this morning. And in America is before him right now. My God, and it is Shata. And people are crying out. That's it. People are crying out. People are seeking the face of God. People are, people are, listen, there's a there's a there's a shifting. And I heard the Lord say, He said, I'm coming like a thief in the night. What happened yesterday in New York, in New Jersey? I mean, they felt it all the way in Massachusetts, they felt it in Connecticut, they felt it in Philadelphia. Listen, the magnitude, just a they saying like a 4.8, some saying it's like a five. And I kept getting calls yesterday and they kept, people was telling me, I know someone that live in New Jersey and they said, we're getting shocks after shocks and, and, and the ground is still trembling. That's because, let me tell you something, you know, there are times that uh, the word of the Lord says, dealing with Elijah, that God was not in the earthquake. He was not in the wind, but it was his small still voice but because of this unprecedented timing that we in father god we come before you we repent in the name of jesus we repent we come before your throne right now we know that you are mighty we know that you are delivered from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same your name is forever your name is jehovah you are lord you are our king this morning we bless the name of the lord this morning we declare your glory this morning we honor your presence god i hear god i feel your presence is echo by Shandy, Hane, Korobo, Setere, Bafa, Mandiria, Shandio, Hikarada, Nadia, Bashata. Somebody need to hear the voice of God. You need to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying in Idio Shata. We bless your name this morning. We glorify you this morning. We thank you for healing in our wings. We thank you for moving through God, my God, through the nations. We thank you for the shaking. You said every you gonna shake everything out of his place. My God, this morning, in Shata, houses was connected together because of the magnitude. Houses and buildings, my God, streets was cracked open because you are demonstrating your power. You are letting us know that you still on the throne. You, you letting us know that you still God, my Lord, in the name of Jesus, my God, I, I praise you this morning. I thank you for being Alpha and Omega. You are ending in our beginning this morning. You're God all by yourself this morning. There is no other God besides you this morning. We glorify your name this morning. Come on, I want you to enter in. That's it. Let us pray this morning. We reference you this morning. We know that that is you this morning. We know that you are speaking in the earth this morning. We know that you are. Your presence is everywhere. My God, this morning, we declare it in the fullness of joy, in your power this morning. We thank you this morning for delivering us. We thank you for healing us this morning. We thank you this morning. We come before you. We repent for the churches this morning. We repent because they're not sounding the alarm. You said the watchman has to be on his watch to sound the alarm that trouble is coming. My God, Sunday. We give you praise in the Oshata. Monday He said, I will shake everything. He said, I'm moving everything in the Oshande. Make it Shata. I give you the praise in the Oshata. Monday the I see the I ha. Monday the they don't even know me, said God. They don't know that I am a God of wrath, that my anger is kindled. We come before you. We ask you to forgive 
forgive our nation, forgive our president, forgive this country right now in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, God. We have fallen. We have fallen under grace. And in the we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts this morning. We thank you this morning. We thank you this morning. We thank you for houses. We thank you. We thank you for water. We thank you for shelter. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you for Jesus Christ. My God, as we have celebrated the resurrection of our Lord and Savior. He's our savior. They come, my shit. He's sitting at the right hand of power. He is occupying heaven and earth. We bless your name this morning. We declare it this morning in the name of Jesus. I saw in the middle of the night, I saw people right in a crowd, my shit. People waking, people can't sleep in the Ashata. And God said, That's what I come to do in the old Shanda. I come to shake them out of their wickedness, out of their doing, said the Spirit of the Lord. I come to shake the nation, my God, in the Ashanda. He said, There are people who haven't even went to bed because of the fear of the Lord. Let me tell you something the fear of the Lord needs to come back into the churches, it needs to come back into America. It need to come back in our city gates. It need to come back in our streets. Father, we come before your throne this morning. We magnify you this morning. You the King of Kings. You the Lord God Almighty this morning. You the Lord of hosts this morning. You everlasting this morning. We bless your name this morning. We declare it this morning, my God. You the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. This morning in the name of Jesus. You said they that bless Israel, you will bless them. I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I pray for them right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, strengthen the man. Strengthen the prime minister, Neptalin. Strengthen Benjamin Neptalin, my God. Oh, my God, this morning, you are speaking in It is at our door. It is on our land. My God, in the Ashande, because you're moving through the world. You're moving through this earth, my God. And you are declaring, you are declaring that you are alive. You are declaring the Almighty. You Almighty this morning. We bless the name of the Lord this morning. We thank you for moving by your mighty act. We thank you right now, your presence. You've been dealing with me this week about your presence. You've been telling me that your presence is getting ready to show up in the earth. Hey, my God, this morning, we come, we reference, we humble ourselves before you. In the name of Jesus this morning. Yes, Lord, this morning in the Come on, somebody in a you gotta pray in the shut what is coming to America. You gotta pray in the shut My God, this was a warning in the Sunday. Hey, God said warning in America. He said, look at they judges. And they become polluted. They are wicked. I have looked at my God. I have looked down. And I have seen their wickedness. It's dark. It's darkness. He says darkness. is darkness. Where is the light? Where are the salt? Where are they the salt? We supposed to be salt. We supposed to sit upon a hill. He said, I'm looking for the salt. My God, this morning, we come before your throne. We repent in the name of Jesus. We ask you to forgive us things that we said, things that we have conquered in our thoughts, things that we have done against your will. We pray by your word in the name of Jesus. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and it's a light unto our pathway. We come before you this morning and we declare your glory. We declare 
that you are God this morning, that you everlasting in the ocean, we declare it right now, in the ocean, Monday, in the ocean, in the ocean, let the heavens rejoice, I will, in the ocean, in the ocean, I'm shaking things out of their places, Monday, I am moving by my spirit, said the Lord. It is I, the Lord, in the ocean, in the ocean, Monday, in the ocean, in the ocean. I cannot be marked in the ocean. I am the Lord God Almighty. I am that I am in the He called I will not in the Asanti. Oh, many This was a warning in the Asekora. Baha, my Seko Baba, my Teka Nekora, many Karaba Sanda, many did the ocean. Woo, footmen. I see means on footmen. I see footmen. I see means Eko Basa, many Kora. Mataraba Sando, I see Ekoba, military Ekoba, I see soldiers, he called Namashe, he called Nekona, he Taraba Sando, he Karaba Sandia, they removed me, Akoba, he called Namase Toroba, he called Namase, they have removed me, Ekoba, the Enandino Sata, we come before you, Didia, we ask you to forgive. Give us, hey, Namashanda. We sound the alarm in the ocean. We speak it out of our houses. We speak it in the streets. Hey, na 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 and begin to pray that shook that shaking was the trembling of the Lord. He said that shaking was my presence. I said it ekaba famine and death. I said earthquakes. I said they will come. This is the birth pain of the beginning of sorrow. This is the birth pain. This is the birth pain of my wrath, said the Spirit of the Lord. This is the birth pain. This is the birth pain. Hey, hey. The cry of my people hey, have come up before me. Said the Spirit of God in the ocean. My God, I hear our name. May Koraba Sanda. My presence in the ocean. He can the ocean. In the ocean. Monday, the ocean. Holy Ghost, we praise you this morning. We give you the glory this morning. We thank you for the baptism of your word. We ask you to forgive us. Many have blasphemed your name this morning. Many have said that you're not God. Many have spoken and said you don't see them. Many have said, my God, that nothing you're going to do. But you are the great, my God. You are the great God. You are the great warrior, the host of your kingdom. My God, we are rooted in the eye. My God. I'm uprooting foundations. I'm moving foundations. I'm removing the foundations. Lord, 
eneko mak ni na kanandi di o kanandi di asi asi eneko di o sanda asi the darkness eneko di o shandi di a kenere di di o kenere di di a sanda di o bo shata asi the plans of the wicked eneko di a shata I will uproot it eneko di o si corona na basate eneko eneko mani eneko na Hey, did you shine? Did you act? Did 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 you? He could not match. God, we did 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 you shine? Did you? Man, did you shine? Did you? God said, I see the plains of darkness. I see the wickedness in the ocean. He said, I'm born up under the ocean. He said, I'm born under in the depth of tobo sunday kona de i de 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 kona i born in the depth in the asi kona de da da he de 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 o shanda he de 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 o sunday de o shata he de 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 o shanda the wickedness in the white house he de 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 o shata we repent he de 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 o shanda de o sunday de o shata la ba sunday he kona mase ne di di osha di di a the wickedness in di di osha ta them swept across the world in di di osha ta because of America. America wanna disobey God. America leaders are she ne kora baha, but I will shake their houses, say God. I will shake them out of their temples. He kona mase ne koro baha. E de 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 ya san di di osha. Tara, hey, did he oh shut up? They will know that I am, that I am in the ocean, the ocean. He said, we are acting in the ocean, the ocean. This is the beginning of sorrow. He called my bashata. In the ocean, the ocean. They want man to bow down in the ocean. They want man to bow. He called He said, but don't you bow in the ocean. Because I'm coming in the ocean. I'm coming with a sword in the ocean. Did he ask? Did he did he see? Did he did he ask? Sunday he could not did he ask? Said did he ask? Sunday he did he did he ask? Santa he said I brought many out of their unresting places. He never come and say to her. He said they said they never seen it. He said they never seen it happen in that area. But I, the Lord God, I'm finna shake her. I'm finna shake them. I'm finna shake her. He said, "I'm finna shake their foundation in the ocean." I know them in the ocean. They sit in their comfortable houses, and my churches have become ruins," said the Lord. He said, "They have caused my churches. They have caused my people to error." Echo about a shot. But I, the Lord God, declare in the ocean. I will in the ocean. In the ocean. He said, "I will send out the." Death angels in the ocean. I will send them forth in the ocean. I will call the horsemen to go out. He come up on the ocean. I said it. I upon the land in the ocean. I said go to the land. He said because they have refused me. And the day I see all of the land. And the day I see all of the land. He said they have disrupted my plan in the Ekoba. They have disrupted the animals and they have disrupted the food and the water. He said they have poisoned it. Said God. He said that they say it's not me moving through the through the earth and in the ocean. They have said that I'm nowhere. He said, but I, the Lord God, my presence is getting ready to make a statement across the world. Said the Spirit of the Lord in the ocean, in the ocean. God, I praise you this morning. I thank you this morning. I give you the glory this morning. I thank you for delivering it. Korabarashanda. We come before you this morning. That's it. Heshene korabasha. I begin to study in the night. I begin to study about earthquakes and 
I began to run reference about earthquakes and what causes them and, 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 and what causes the foundation. And I remember as a young girl in Memphis, Tennessee, and, and, and we was outside playing and the earth just started began to move side to side. It just began to go just began to move and we was running and I was up on the porch and I remember this as a young girl and I ran in the house and I asked my mother, I said, what is that mama? What is that? And in, in a lot of people houses, whether they knew it or not, it was moved off the foundation of where it was planted. That means that when something is being moved that it no longer can serve in that in that place. We in a season of a dimension. There's so much that is manifesting in the year of 2024. There's so much unprecedented thing that's going on because so many people have got off post. So many worldwide leaders have taken down and and nations in Europe have, they have forgot about God. They have promoted sin more than they have promoted Jesus Christ. And so the world is dark right now. The world sits in darkness and God is getting ready to deal with the nations right now in the name of Jesus. And so I, when I heard about it and I began to look at it yesterday, it took me back to as I was a young girl, and I truly believe it was the timing of when John F. Kennedy got shot and the earth began to tremble. I am here to tell you that in this unprecedented, in this time of where we had darkness, sin is up on the face of the earth, murder, robbing, killing, stealing is more extended right now all across the world. They are more gloping in darkness. They are more into wickedness and evil right now. And it's coming from the White House. I'm here to tell you, it's coming straight out of the pit of hell. Satan is seated in the White House. The devil is seated. He done took demons. I see it in that place. But God, I'm here to tell you, God, he, I'm telling you just what we experienced yesterday, what took place in America yesterday, what is taking place across the world, Taiwan, what is taking place? God is waking, that's it, all 50 states, that's right, they will be affected, I'm here to tell you, what's getting ready to come is all 50 states will be affected because God is looking for the church to come up, he's looking for the church to rise up and we need leaders. We need people. He's looking for people. That's why a lot of people are not connecting to certain people because most people, the church is going me, 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 my, my, my. They're not looking at the darkness. They like, that's right, Patricia. They're not looking at the darkness that's upon the land. People, not the churches. Let me tell you something. Our president made a statement Sunday on the most holiest day. He made a statement that uh, Sunday was a day of transgender and a day of transgender of visibility. Listen at this. Even the transgenders came up against it because they know that it was not right on the most holiest day, the day that we worship as Christians. This nation have worshiped as Christians. 200 and some, what, how long this nation been here? 270 some years. This nation have acknowledged Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. This is the only president have him and besides Obama. I want you to know what's seating in the White House. These are principalities, administrations. They are demons. We got to pray that God uproot them by fire. They have already blasphemed. I looked the word of blaspheme. And when I looked it up about blaspheming, it means that you can curse Jesus. You can say whatever you want to say about God. And you can blaspheme. Listen at this. And you can blaspheme. But when you blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, there is no repentance. There is no repentance. And many people are blaspheming against the Holy Spirit. They, and when, meaning that you blaspheming against the work of God. 
That means that you're saying that the work of God is non-effect. You're saying that the, this is not the work of God. You're giving glory to demonic demons. You're giving glory to demonic entities. That means that you're lifting up darkness more than you lifting up the Holy Ghost. So that becomes echo a a a a a insult. And this is what's happening in Idiya Shanda around the world in Idio Shata. The corruption in every state, in every city. He said, But I, the Lord God, in Idio Shata, I will send forth a sword in the land in Idio Shandidia. He echo baba shedidia sanda. This is what the word of the Lord in Nidio Shandidio Bobo Shata. I hear the Lord telling me to go to a scripture in Nidio Sha. Mande Katoro Baba Sedidia. Menedio Sikolananda. Hededia Sandidio Shata. He said, Eko Baba Shandidio Shata. He said that this is Revelation chapter 8. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in the heaven about the space of a half of an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God and to them was given seven trumpets. And the other angel, could, the other angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer. And there was given up unto him much incense that he shall offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense. Let me tell you something. There are people that are praying. There are people that are on their faces 24 hours. There are people for this to be broken for the repentance of America and what America has done to so many nations that if you do not, if you do not be in agreement with their darkness, if you do not be in agreement with letting your nation have transgenders, that we will not fund you, we will not aid you. You stray from the pit of hell. You sitting in the White House and you stray from the pit of hell. God said you straight from the pit. You coming straight out of darkness. You coming out of the pit of hell. Anytime you trying to force a darkness, you trying to force something that God is against uh, our own nations and, and you want your retaliation is because they don't agree with your darkness that you're not going to feed them. I am here to tell you right now that they food come from God. They water come from God. Everything about them, it comes from God, from the rising of the sun. And then he said, and the angel took the censers and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there was voices of thunder and lightning and earthquake. This is what I hear. Listen, this is what I hear. So the prayers of the saints are in the face of God. The prayers of the saints and the angel that holds our prayers. Listen, that's why we're fasting. Then I tell you that 2024 would be a year of fasting. It would be a year of seeking the presence of the Lord because the Lord been showing me that his presence is getting ready to move throughout the earth. And it's going to be things that's going to manifest that never happened. They're going to say this never have happened. They, you know, they shocked that it didn't happen. Why, you know, it, it came this way. Some people have an insult that the fact that they had an earthquake yesterday because they looked at the fact that this has never happened, but you better put your seatbelt on because things are getting ready to take place because of the darkness that's sitting up on the land. It's sitting up on the world. Darkness is everywhere. So he says, and the angel took the censer and filled it with fire on the altar. These are the prayers. That means that pre people are interceding right now at this time. Many people are going up before the Lord, which the word of the Lord said, these things are going to be. These things got to come. Just what happened with Jesus Christ. I'm going back to that. Judas had to betray Jesus. He, but in that God, the saints are praying. And in that God is sending forth his presence and he is speaking and he's giving us direction and he's giving us instructions how to go about, how to move throughout the earth. And the angel took the scissors and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth. And there was a voice and thundering. Did you all see 
uh, Monday, this happened Monday. I think a lot of people do not know this. The uh, Statue of Liberty that's sitting in New York, lightning struck it. They got a picture where lightning struck it. Lightning coming straight at it and struck it. So many light, lightning has just been, been striking things. I'm telling y'all, things are catching on fire. Think buildings are catching on fire in 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 Mississippi and Tennessee. Lightning striking and and buildings and schools and things are catching on fire because why we are in a time that God is speaking to His people. God is moving throughout the earth. We are in a time. We are in the end time, and things are happening speedily. Things are happening so suddenly. And the seventh angel. This is. Revelation 8 and 6, and he says that in thundering and lightning and earthquake. So we this is what we're getting. And the seven angels with, which had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to the sound. The first angel sounded, and there was fire, hell, and fire, and mingled with blood, and they was cast upon the earth. Did you hear what I said? These things are coming. Listen, these this is what's happening. Somebody put on their Revelation 8. He said, listen, and they was cast upon the earth. Listen, these this is what's taking place. And third part of the trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. Heaven nations and heaven cities been experienced where that fires are breaking out and because you know why the, the the angels of the lord my god and this week listen at this this week as the lord began to minister to me and the lord told me to come up before him this week because i was so hurt when what happened what took place on resurrection sunday to hear a statement to hear a leader to promote darkness more than they promote that Jesus Christ is risen to acknowledge God, to acknowledge God. Listen, it did something. It did. It did something to me. So I had to go into my prayer chamber and I began to seek the face of God. And I began to weep because it's almost like somebody took something and stuck it in my heart. And I said, God, what is this? Well, I felt, I felt that thing that took place Sunday night and it was a shifting that took place Sunday. You better hear me on resurrection Sunday. A lot of people did not, a lot of people did not experience it, but those that's in the face of God. And I'm here to tell you, I got phone calls and people were saying to me that Sunday, something is off. It does not seem like resurrection Sunday. It's like something is clouded. Something is over the land. Something is manifesting. Something is going on. And yes, that's right. Patricia, that's it. That's uh, this su Sunday just passed. It is feel as what we were in the resurrection of rejoicing and, and magnifying God and giving God the glory. Well, guess what? There was a spirit. There was a spirit of blasphemy that sits over our nation that rules, called themselves as rulers, but they demons of darkness and principalities that's running throughout the earth. So they want to mark God. And so in that, as I began to get in the face of God and begin to seek the presence of the Lord and the Lord just began to, he began to show me that his presence was coming forth. He began to show me, I saw angels and I saw angels touching things. I saw angels moving through the earth and they was touching things. Okay. This is what the word of the Lord is saying. He said, and he's, uh, he opened, they opened the seal and the seventh angel, which the seventh trumpet prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, there follow hell. Hell been coming forth through the earth. Hell, it's been raining in hell and fire mingling with blood. And they was cast up on the earth. And the third part of the trees was burnt up and all the green grass was burnt up. Now this, the, the Lord told me to read this. This is Revelation 8. I, I didn't want to even think about Revelation 8. This is what he's speaking to me. He said, the second angel sound, and it was a great mountain burning with fire, was cast into the sea. The third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which was in the sea and had life, they died. And the third part of the ships was destroyed. Listen at this. And the third angel sound, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it was a lamp and it fell upon the third parts of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters and the name of the stars is called wormwood 
that God told me to read this. It was called wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood. Did you hear what I said? He said, many means died of water. Listen at this. Because they were made bitter. My God. And the fourth angel sound, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, so as the third part of them was darkened. Oh my God, the Lord told me to read this. And the day shone not for a third of it, and the night likewise. And behold, and heard an angel flying through the midst of the heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voice of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound, my God. So we are in time of tribulation. We are in time that God is releasing the trumpets. He's releasing the, the seals are being opened at this time. The seals are being opened. Even death angels are at the four corners of the earth, meaning that the horsemen, the black horsemen, the pale horse, the red horse, these are horses dealing with fire, brimstones, dealing with, dealing with uh, uh, death and famine upon the land. America, America, because you have prostituted and you have caused nations to fall at your dispense of your greed, of your evil, of your wickedness. You better hear what I'm saying because many nations look up to America, many nations, you better hear me, but there are a lot of nations in Africa. There are a lot of, a lot of countries in Africa Africa have not taken the bite of the United States. There are countries that have not been in agreement with this darkness that's running through the earth. We got to pray. We see it. It's in front of us. It's, it's right in front of us. Every wicked thing that they're doing and you cannot shut your eyes to it. You got to see the darkness of this administration that's running over the United States and it is straight from the pit of hell. It's straight from the pit of hell. They want everything to be evil and wicked. They want our polices to be have no voice. They don't. They 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 want our children eight nine years ten years old to run the street and have a revolving door going in and out out of prison, murdering and killing. This is what's going on. Our, our children are coming up missing. People are being, people's lives are being taken. That means boys and girls driving through the streets, wrecking cars, destroying cars. Come on, come on, y'all, come on. The church, the church, the church. But one thing, but he said, he said the gates of hell would not prevail. That means that, so if the gates won't prevail, that means God got to step in. That means that God is getting ready to do something in the land and God is uprooting. He's uprooting. So you in your comfortable houses and you relax and you sit back and you saying it ain't coming to your door. If you don't get your face in the face of God, it's going to walk straight down your street. You better hear what I'm saying. We're not exempt. It ain't how holy you are because the word of the Lord said, even the righteous, they said, where well, the righteous won't be effect. He said it in Isaiah. He take it out the righteous for the day of the evil to come. He taken out righteous people for the day of darkness to come. Darkness is coming. It's a day of darkness and we in it right now. We in it right now. Yes, it does. The earth belongs to God. He's the ruler. That is so true. But man, he give man for us to have dominion, to nurture it, and to do as he have commanded. He has given us commandments that we should live by. But because of man have chosen to walk against God, to disorder against God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you and I praise you. And I thank you for delivering this nation. I thank you, God, for removing the enemies 
the enemies that come up against you. This is about you, God. This is this is all about you. The attack is against your name. It's against who you are, God. It's, it's against everything that you stand for. So, Father, we come in agreement. We stand in a gap. You said if my people in 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then you will hear from heaven and I will hear your land. You turn from the darkness. We got to turn. He want us to, he want America to turn from her wicked ways. He want her to turn from the things that she is doing right now. The uh, escalate of this wickedness that's roaming through the earth in the, in churches, in, in, in the synagogues. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. In the Pope. My God. My God. My God. He going to be uprooted in the old shot. He gonna be removed in the dio bo 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 shandiria Monday the dio the Pope in the dia sata. Anytime he take the name of God, he said it in over in Revelations chapter twenty one. He said that he that add or take from my word, he said you your name is blocked out. Your name is blocked out of the Lamb's book of life. This they done added, they done took. They don't remove things out of the Bible. They, they want to change the name of the Bible. Do you understand where we at and what is taking place? And God is calling the church right now to pray. So please, let's stay before the presence of the Lord. I just saw over in the night and I just saw half of the East Coast. And this is what the, listen, here it is. This is why I came back on because I deleted the other video. This is what the Lord said to me. It was Monday and I was sitting like I'm sitting now and I was just ministering to the Lord and just meditating on the Lord. And the Lord said, get the map of the United States. So I pulled up the phone, got the map. I'm looking at the map and the Lord showed me his hand and his hand went straight toward the East Coast. his hand. And when his hand went straight toward the East Coast, he said, an earthquake is coming to New York. Sure did. And I said, huh, God? He said, an earthquake is coming to New York. He said, I'm getting ready to shake the United States. He said, I'm getting ready to shake it. He said, I'm getting ready to do things that they said they going to know that didn't nobody but God, the hand of God did this. They going to know. God is getting ready to bring fear. God, you know, people like, well, they don't have the fear of the Lord. Don't nobody, you know, the fear of the Lord is not. Let me tell you something. When God ready to make a statement, when God ready to bring fear back in a country, in a nation. Oh, honey, he ain't short of his word. He said, heaven is my home and earth is my footstool. That's his word. Earth is his footstool. His foot sits on the earth. Ha! Jesus. He said, so I am here to tell us, repent. He's calling for America to repent. So many nations, countries have had their eyes on America. The, the economy is so high. Inflation is so high. People hungry, people starving all over the world because of America. Decisions that America is making. The Bible said when a leader, when a leader, when a righteous leader run a nation, the people are rejoicing. The people are happy. When a wicked leader run a nation, the people are hungry. They starving. They in darkness. It's a famine somewhere. It's lack somewhere. Inflation is high. Interest is high. That's a wicked leader. Greed. That's a demon of greed that's running through, running up there. It's, it's a demon. Oh, and, and, and the Lord said to me, he said, I see them too. He said, I see them too. Yeah, seeing is a reproach. That is so right, Patricia. Seeing is a reproach. He said, I see them too. So, Monday, when he showed me, he said, earthquake coming. And I shared it with somebody. I thought I didn't, but I shared it with someone. And then and, and they said, you did say that apostle to me. 
You say you saw an earthquake coming into New York. You, 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 ow. Oh, and, and, and I saw the hand of God went up under, like his hand went under the soil. And he was just uprooting. He was uprooting. He was uprooting. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So let's stay prayerful. You know, they said that nothing like that has ever happened. 200 some years. Well, get ready. We finna see a lot of things because this nation, this country is out of control. And God is calling. He's raising up his remnant. And many of you all are his, you're his remnant. And we're in the face of God. So God bless you. I love you all. Let's continue to pray. Uh, yes, she said the eclipse would be what Monday. The eclipse this Monday is coming. Uh, a lot of people would get to see the eclipse. Uh, the, the word of the Lord speaks about the uh, signs and the wonders. He talks about how the sun and moon would give off a sign. It's a sign. I, I was studying it over in Genesis. He put all that in place for signs to reveal his glory to reveal his presence. So this is getting ready to take place this Monday. Uh, a lot of people would get a chance to watch it. I've been seeing on the YouTube, they telling people don't go outside, don't look up in the sky, don't watch it. You know, at your discretion, you do as what the Lord give you to do. A lot of schools are closing. See, all this goes back to if we don't fear the name of the Lord, but we fear the creation of God, but we don't fear him, something is off. Something is wrong. We don't fear his, we don't fear his, him, but we fear all this other stuff that's going on, the earthquake. And somebody said, I thought the earth was open up. It was going to shake. But, and then everybody running and chasing. You, do, do we understand what's really taking place? God is all knowing. He is all powerful. He can set a bait. It don't have to be a bait. He just do it to get your attention. He's getting man's attention. This is what's going on. He's getting man's attention. He's sweeping through our nation. And there's an awakening that he's calling the church. And people are being shaken. Many people are being shaken in this season. Daniel chapter 2, verse 21, 22. Daniel said he set up kings and he moved kings and he put kings in places and he dethroned kings and he placed kings. And we, we just in that time, he know the timing of what he is doing. And we are in. The, in evil days, the timing of the sign is before us that what is taking place. So God bless you all. Uh, stay prayerful. Stay prayerful. Stay prayerful. Stay in the face of God. And let's just see what God is saying to us today. But I do know God is speaking. He's speaking and he's demonstrating his glory. God bless you. Have a great day. She said the United Nation is new, is in New York. They had a meeting back in January. Oh, wow. Yes. And I think yesterday, let me say this. I think yesterday I saw something was going on in New Jersey and they was holding a meeting. And I think it was a whole lot of different nations had came. Yeah. So. God know what he's doing. He's dealing. Oh, people crying out. People all over the world crying out. They know America have fallen. They know America has fallen. They see Australia talk about America. Oh, my God. Australia talks about America. Have y'all ever looked at Australian news? Oh, baby, they got it. They got the news. Yes, ma'am. They putting it out there. These people that see that America leaders. America leaders are corrupt. They wicked. They wicked. They wicked. And it's all the way from the AG 
to the senators, to the Congress, all the way to judges, all the way to prosecutors, polices, teachers, it's churches, preachers, apostles, pastors. It's all the way. It's, it's just, it's wicked. It's, it's wicked have reached. The wickedness have come up before the Lord. What did she say? Proverbs 22, when the righteous are in authority, that's it. The people rejoice. That's exactly right. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people are in mourn. Listen, listen, it's before you. God put the scripture. When the righteous, thank you so much. When the righteous, oh, did she remove it? Okay. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rule, the people are in mourn. What you think going on? When wicked leaders are in place, the people are suffering. The people are mourning. People are hungry. People are destituted. People are, people are hurting. People are in pain. People are suffering. Suffering. But when you got a righteous leader, and then you got you got you got Christians around here saying that this, you know, I'm still gonna vote for him. And he in agreement with darkness for real. Are you for real? You can't get past and come over into holy of holy and righteousness and look in the spirit realm, see what God, yeah, it's a spirit. People operate through spirit oppression. People jumping off of bridges, which they do it too with the righteous, righteous leader. People jumping off of bridges, but wickedness have taken this course. That lets you know what's seated in, up there in the White House. I'm not saying it to say it. The scripture is saying it. Proverbs 29 and 2 said when a when a righteous leader in authority, the people are happy. The people are going to rejoice. The people are glad. But when a wicked bird rule, the people are in mourn like they dead. They suffering. And this is what is, this is the dispossession of the last three years that America been dealing with. This is what America been faced with. And, 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 and the one that was before him, he wasn't as good as he said he was either. I think he getting himself together because God is, God is spanking him. God is spanking Donald Trump. God is getting Donald Trump in order. I, I truly believe that. I truly, I truly believe that with all my heart. And let me share this with you all. Someone said this to me yesterday. They said, Apostle, could, you know, I heard that uh, Donald Trump done made his own Bible. He done created his own Bible. I said, who told you that? I said, Donald Trump just giving you the word. Yes, he's selling Bible. It's just like uh, 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 any other company that sell Bibles, uh, Zonaville, uh, any other company that say, you know, Bibles, that sell Bibles. Yeah, I named some companies that sell Bibles. Uh, you got Zonaville. You got, uh, uh, who else? Uh, it's a lot of different companies that will say, that sell Bibles. That's all he doing. He doing something that we should be doing. He doing something that we should be doing. Like David Jeremiah. David Jeremiah got a Bible. He just selling Bibles. That's it. He's just endorsing the Bible. You're right. He's trying to get America to come back to God. He's trying to get America. It starts here, America. It starts here, America. America, it starts right here. That's what got America to where she at. 100 Bible verses that made America. Listen, this is my book. What You all need to get this book. 100, 100 Bible verses that made America by Robert J. Morgan. You all need to get this book. It's a great book. I, I, the scriptures, all the scriptures that they wrote down in history to declare over America when as America was being formed by the power of the Holy Ghost. 100 scriptures that they used and things that took place that it, it, it is so... It is so much wisdom in this book. 
and I buy this book and I keep this book right here at my desk and I go and I study this book because we're praying for America. God bless each and every one of you. May you have a great day. We're truly excited. So all Donald Trump doing is selling the Bible, something that the church should be doing, something that the body of Christ, the kingdom should be doing. He telling you your answer is in the word. That's how he doing. He telling you that America done left God. Only way she going to win, she got to go back to the Bible. She got to go back to God. You got other nations. If you, if you have a, a holy Bible, you be stoned for it. If you got a Bible, if they find out that you got a holy Bible, so America need to buy Bibles. America need to pick back up the word of God and put the word of God back in our schools, back in our jurisdiction, back in our in our courthouses. America need to put the word of God back in the White House. That's what America need. God bless you. Love you all. You have a wonderful Saturday. Saturday. May his peace go with you and may his favor go ahead of you. I will see you all Monday. Have a great day. God bless each and every one of you all.